So you might be running into a problem on your iPhone, or for some reason, an iOS update is just having trouble installing or downloading, and basically get a little pop-up that says an error occurred when downloading an iOS update. Now, this can happen for a lot of different reasons, but if you go ahead and make your way over to your iPhone settings, if you scroll down into this little general option here, if you go and click on software update, you'll basically see a little panel right here that says, you know, sometimes like iOS 17 or whatever, you wanna go ahead and make sure the very first thing you have some sort of cell signal or some sort of Wi-Fi signal of some sort. If you don't have any Wi-Fi or cell signal at all, that is basically going to be the number one issue. More than anything else, most of the time, it's going to be a Wi-Fi or cell signal issue. So just go ahead and make sure you have some sort of Wi-Fi signal, some sort of cell signal. And that right there can probably end up fixing a lot of problems for a lot of people. So just more than anything, just make sure you have some sort of Wi-Fi or cell signal. And that right there can probably end up fixing the problem. Now, if you do that and that's still not working, the next thing I'd recommend doing is going through and seeing if that update actually downloaded, but it's just not available yet. So what you can do is you can go inside of your general settings again, click on iPhone storage, and if you have some sort of iOS update installed here, you might just wanna delete it and reinstall it. So what this means is you wanna wait until this thing loads up, find that iOS update wherever it is, it might already be downloaded. So find it, delete it, and then try downloading it again. Now, if that doesn't work, you might wanna go ahead and just restart your device. So hold down the buttons that you normally would to restart it. Go ahead and completely shut, you know, shut it down, power it back on, and you might see if that ends up fixing the problem as well. Like I said, for a lot of people, that will probably end up fixing the problem too. Now, if that still doesn't work, the next thing I recommend doing is seeing if Apple actually stopped that particular update. There can be lots of updates available, and sometimes Apple can take away those updates and fix it and then republish it. So you might just want to go ahead and re-download it that way and then see if it still works. You can also try plugging your iPhone into a PC of some sort and downloading that update there. But those are two different, those are multiple different ways of fixing this problem. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.